Watch how a simple classroom project grows into a town-wide movement. Enhance your English skills with this delightful story of kindness and community. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. In the colorful town of Brightville, Miss Harper, a beloved schoolteacher, had a brilliant idea. She stood before her class, a large quilt draped over her arm. We're going to create a kindness quilt, she announced, her eyes twinkling. For every act of kindness you perform, you'll add a patch to our quilt. Each patch will tell a story of friendship, helpfulness, and compassion. The students were buzzing with excitement. They had never heard of such a project before. Jenny, a curious girl with bright red hair, raised her hand. What kind of acts count, Miss Harper? Any act that spreads kindness, Miss Harper replied. It could be helping a friend with their homework, sharing your lunch, or even just giving someone a smile. That afternoon, the students scattered throughout the town, eager to start their acts of kindness. Tommy, a mischievous boy with a heart of gold, helped an elderly woman carry her groceries. He returned to school the next day with a bright yellow patch. I helped Mrs. Thompson carry her bags, he said proudly. Miss Harper affixed his patch to the quilt. Day by day, the quilt grew. Lily, a shy girl, gave her favorite book to a friend who was feeling sad. She brought a blue patch to class, and Miss Harper sewed it next to Tommy's. Jack, who was known for his pranks, surprised everyone by spending an afternoon cleaning up the park. His green patch found its place on the quilt. Emma, a thoughtful girl, looked after her neighbor's cat while they were away. She brought a purple patch to school. Miss Harper applauded her and the patch was carefully added to the growing quilt. The stories behind each patch were heartwarming. There were patches for picking up litter, helping younger students with their projects, and even for comforting a friend who was having a bad day and looking after a neighbor's cat. As the quilt grew, so did the spirit of kindness in Brightville. One day, Miss Harper invited the whole town to see the quilt. It had grown so large that it wrapped around the school building. People from all over the town came to admire the quilt and many were inspired to add their own patches. The mayor added a patch for starting a community garden and the local baker added one for donating bread to the food bank. The quilt had become a symbol of the town's unity and compassion inspiring more acts of kindness each day. The quilt became a symbol of unity and kindness. Every time someone looked at it, they were reminded of the importance of small acts. It's like a chain reaction, said Miss Harper. One act of kindness can lead to another, and soon, we've created something beautiful together. As the school year drew to a close, the quilt was massive, a tapestry of stories and colors. The students of Brightville had learned that kindness wasn't just about grand gestures. It was in the everyday moments, the little things that made someone's day a bit brighter. Miss Harper stood before the quilt, a tear in her eye. I'm so proud of all of you, she said. This quilt shows that when we all come together and pitch in, we can make the world a better place. The students cheered, their hearts full of joy. They knew that the kindness quilt was more than just fabric and thread. It was a testament to the power of kindness and the difference each person could make. And so, the kindness quilt of Brightville continued to grow, patch by patch, story by story, spreading kindness far and wide. Congratulations on completing a tale of kindness! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the key words and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, kindness quilt, 
a quilt made from patches representing acts of kindness. Number two, twinkling, shining with a bright, sparkling light. Number three, friendship, a close and trusting relationship between people. Number four, helpfulness, the quality of being helpful. Number five, compassion, sympathetic concern for the sufferings of others. Number six, buzzing, full of excitement or activity. Number seven, curious, eager to know or learn something. Number eight, spreads, extends or expands to affect a larger area. Number nine, scattered, spread out over a wide area. Number ten, mischievous, playfully causing trouble. Number eleven, elderly, old or aging. Number twelve, returned, came back. Number thirteen, affixed, attached or fastened. Number fourteen, sewed, joined or fastened by stitches. Number fifteen, pranks, playful tricks or jokes. Number sixteen, cleaning up, tidying or making a place clean. Number seventeen, invited, asked someone to come or join. Number eighteen, admire, to regard with respect or warm approval. Number nineteen, donating, giving something, especially to a charity or good cause. Number twenty, symbol, something that represents or stands for something else. Number twenty-one, heartwarming, emotionally uplifting or gratifying. Number twenty-two, picking up litter, collecting trash from the ground. Number twenty-three, comforting, providing solace or reassurance. Number twenty-four, small acts, minor deeds or actions. Number twenty-five, chain reaction, a series of events caused by one initial event. Number twenty-six, grand gestures, significant or impressive actions. Number twenty-seven, proud, feeling deep pleasure from achievements. Number twenty-eight, pitch in to contribute or help. Number twenty-nine, testament, proof or evidence of something. Number thirty. Difference, a significant change or effect. Number thirty-one, thoughtful, showing consideration for others. Number thirty-two, looked after, took care of. Number thirty-three, applauded, praised or clapped for. Number thirty-four, carefully, with great attention to detail. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.